welcome back hope you're all well and uh so today we're not really going to do a lot on the video as such or working on the van we're literally just going to do some painting today so the uh the box seat that you've probably seen on the previous videos i'm just going to start paint pre-painting that the first um coat as such <clears throat> and um now that a few more supplies have arrived so my uh carpet lining that I'm going to use for the rest of the van and for the, the sponge area, the, the cushion for the box seat has arrived so I can get that done at some stage and um, one of my other things that arrived today, I don't know if you can see here but uh, my curtains arrived, that's just one piece of the curtain and um, so some grey blackout curtains, they arrived as well which is really cool so uh, we just need to buy a curtain rail, uh, fix a piece of wood across and then we can get the curtains mounted so they're blackout and thermal lined as well so hopefully that will keep some more of the heat in and the only other thing that arrived this morning which we have to with is the tap so um, that was cheap off Amazon. Again, that's linked into my shop, which is down below in the um, description area on my Amazon shop. So I'll put that in there. But that arrived today, so at some stage I can get that fitted in. And the only other good piece of news was um, obviously because the gas hob, because uh, the van's got LPG, uh, not normal gas as such, um, it's pretty tricky trying to find somebody who would be willing to um, sign off and link up the uh, the gas hub to the LPG connection that's already fitted so I've got a guy that's um, qualified he's going to come out on Tuesday around about four o'clock he's going to connect all that up for me refit everything and that will be the the gas hub connected to the LPG supply and I'll be cooking on gas mug 10 so hopefully hopefully by Tuesday um, or Wednesday at the latest, we can have the tap put in. We won't have plumbing as such yet because we still need to connect the 12 volt uh, water pump, which kindly donated to us by uh, Vanzi, Vanizzi, or whatever they're called. And I'll leave their link below in this video as well. Uh, we'll have the gas hub connected. We'll have water, um, fresh water that we can use to cook with, to uh, wash with and all that sort of stuff and then we'll have it all pre-painted as such within the van so we're slowly getting there. So I'm just going to flip the video around, record myself doing some painting and all that sort of stuff so you can obviously see the colour schemes, the greys and the blacks and the chromes and all that sort of stuff. So stay tuned and stay safe. See you in a bit. Bye.
So just a quick undercoat of such as uh, the paint I've been using. Thank you, self-priming velvety smooth furniture paint uh, in grey. Got that from B and Q. So that's how it's all gonna look like. So you can imagine, obviously, once the side panels are on, which are gonna be the dark carpet lining and. All this is going to be painted grey as well so it's all hidden once so all that's properly boxed in it will be painted grey so with the blacks and the greys i'm hoping it will look nice and then like my ceiling is going to be uh clad but it's going to be in the, like a wood stain so you'll have a bit of texture color with the dark wood stain compared to the black and the greys inside um so when I first came in here this morning, it was about five Celsius. Um, I put the curtain up just to see um, with my body heat, without the heater on. And we were up to 11, nearly 12 Celsius just by being in here with the body heat and all that sort of stuff and the curtain up. So I'm hoping over the next few days to, like I say, get the tap put in, box all that off and so I can get the toilet mounted inside on the casters that I've already bought the pull out ones and then uh, get the gas hob fitted on Tuesday and, and then I'm going to take a little break away from everything but me and the dog are going to go away for a few days probably to the Peak District so that's our plans we're going to leave that to dry for now and then take Archie for a walk and then eventually we'll start doing some more coats so not the most exciting day on the van build um, again it's all the little things when you're doing a van build that you know take time also make the van look better than what it is so like i say hoping once i get everything fitted in and the color scheme that i've gone for which kind of replicates my living room in my house with the grays and the, the dark wood stain and all that sort of stuff on the ceiling so i'm hoping it will look nice It'll look modern ish uh and it's, it's for me really it's for me and the dog so hopefully fingers crossed it will look good but it Going to carry on after I've taken a dog for a walk, carry on painting, but that's today's video as such an update on what we're doing. So it's all the little things that count, the hidden things, the seat, you know, the things that you, you take for granted. They make such a difference. So stay safe. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hopefully we'll see you tomorrow. Stay safe. Bye bye.